Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to design these flashing controls. Here you can see this, the label of this label, the color is being changed regularly and for these buttons also the color is being changed. And here you can see this, whatever I write inside this one, the color for this one is also changed. So how to design this, I'm going to show you in this video. Okay, let me close this project and I've already created a project flashing over here and this is the empty. So from the beginning, I'm going to show you how to design this. Okay, so first thing what we have to do is we have to drag and drop all this control for which you want to actually change the color like this I've already shown you. So for that, I'm going to search label. So first, I need one label. Okay, so right click and go to properties. And here, first thing what we have to change is label name, that is the text. So I'm going to write this one, welcome to btech days. Hit enter and I'm going to change the font for this one. Bold and something. This one. And change this one to 36, like this one. And decrease the form size for now. After this, what we have to do is we have to drag one text box to. So I have dragged one text box and I'm going to increase the font for this text box. Change this one to 18, hit enter. And let me increase the size of this one. And I need few buttons. So for that search button, just drag and drop it over here. I need two buttons, so copy and paste it. Yeah, finally we have all the stuff. After this, what we have to do is we have to increase the font for these buttons. Let me do that for that search for font and select 18 and hit OK. Let me just increase the size of this button. Change the text for this button to OK and want to cancel. And this one too. Yeah, there we go. Now, what we have to do is we have to actually change the color for these all stuff. Like uh, in the previously, I have already shown you that. When we start the project, all the color for these levels are being changed regularly. Okay, so how to do that? For that, what we have to do is we have first we have to drag and drop one timer. Just drag and drop one timer over here. After this, just double click on this, and this will generate a timer tick event. Here you can see this timer one tick event. And after this, what we have to do is we have to generate a random numbers, not one. We have to generate four random numbers. That is the four color code. So let me generate that. How to generate a random number? So first we have to create an object for random. And we have to take one variable ran and it equals new random. After this, what we have to do is we have to actually create four random numbers and random numbers are the integer format. So int color one is equal to the object dot next and in this we have to pass zero comma two five five and this will generate a random number I will show you int color two is equal to ran dot next and we have to mention the same stuff zero comma two five five after this int color is equal to ran dot next zero comma two five five and color four is equal to ran dot next and we have to mention zero comma two five five after this what we have to do is we have to actually set the for color for these text boxes and labels so let me check the design name for this label. So the design name for this label is label one. Okay, and this text box name is text box one. This button name is button one and button two, I guess. Yeah, button two. So I have to set the color for all of these. So how to do that? First, I'm going to set for label one. And what we have to set is for color. And how to set the color? So for color is equal to color dot from argb 
here you can observe one small stuff let me show you that when I write like this and when I click inside this one and press the serial alt and here you can see this up sorry okay when you hover over this you can find color from ARGB is plus three overloads create a structure from a 32 bit ARGB value it means that we have to pass four integer value that is the color combination with this for ARGB method is going to generate the color from the color codes. So what is going over here is that when we write this line, this will generate a new number each time for this one called color one. So I have to pass four color four color coordinates over here. So color one, comma color two, comma color three, comma color four. And now here we go after this what i will have to do is i have now set the color for the first level and when we start this the color for this this one is being changed but before that we have to change one more stuff we have to write few more line of code okay so and then load event of this form what i want is i want to start this timer because initially this timer is not started and even not enabled Either you can enable this from over here, right? Click on the timer, right click and go to properties and just enable this or you can just make this one true or you can do this programmatically. So let me show you how to do this programmatically. So to generate a load event of this form, just double click on this. And why are we are going to generate a load event? Whenever this form loads, I want to start this timer and make this timer enable. So just double click on this. Here you can see this form one load event is generated. Now what I want is first to set the timer timer one dot start that is the timer name. After this, what I want to do is timer dot enable. I want to enable this one. So true. Now when you start this, you will find the color for the first label that is welcome to VDX days is now changing very fast. Okay, so it's taking a little bit of time. You have to wait for a few seconds. Okay, so it's taking a little more time. Oh, here you can see this. Now the color for this one is change, changing and it's flashing, but not for these text boxes and these buttons. So how to do the same for these text boxes and buttons? So what we have to do is we have to just write the same line of code for those these text boxes and labels. So text box one, and what we have to do is we have to write the same thing that for color is equal to color dot from argb, and we have to write call one comma call two comma call three comma call four. And let me start this and show you that the same happening for text box or not. This time I wish. Yeah. Here you can see this when I write B day days. Same color is showing reflecting inside this one too. And this one is looking nice. And if you want, if you wish to do that, the flashing decrease, the speed needs to be decreased. So how to do that? For that, what you have to do is just go to over here in the design. Just click on this and change the interval. When you change this one to 300 and hit enter. Now, when you start this, you will find that this one is changing little slowly. Here you can observe. Now the color changing is now slower than before. Yeah. In the same way, you can increase and decrease on the basis of interval this is a millisecond not second it's millisecond okay so in the same way you have to do for the buttons as well so button one and button two what we have to do is we have to just copy this and paste it over here and paste it over here too and just start this
and here you can see this the same thing is happening with these all okay so i hope you like this video and you have designed this so if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon and please share with your friends thanks for watching